can blame me. I don't care. You can say your camera died. Out. Well, welcome to Unstage with Dave Nystrom. I am Dave Nystrom, and today I've got with me a buddy from Los Angeles, Taylor Williamson. Hey, Taylor. Hi, everybody. Hey. Um, am I doing it right? Here? You're fantastic. Yeah, this is great. Thank you uh, yeah. so much for doing this. I appreciate it. Um, we uh, Well, last time I saw you, we worked together in Calgary here, which was uh, very cool mm -hmm. to be able to hang out. And uh, prior to that, last time we worked together was in your hometown of, of San Diego. Um, oh yeah yeah right at the yeah. american what's it called the american comedy club yeah something like the that. the great american yeah. comedy club i think it's called um yeah i love i love uh calgary alberta canada and the the laugh shop and matt and the whole crew over there yeah it was great it's uh it's a, that's actually uh my sort of local club i love it there Calgary, Alberta, Canada is my favorite places because Brett the Hitman Hart is from there. That is true. He is. Uh, I think he's still. I think he still keeps a home here. I don't know if he's full time here or not, but he. Uh, yeah, he's. Def oh, yeah. Definitely local hero. He, he came to my show at, at the last at the last shop. Oh really? Twice. No big deal. You know, <laughs> no big deal. It's only the greatest thing that's ever happened to me in my life. The hitman no, is. I understand why I say Calgary, Alberta, Canada. It's because Bret Hart trained me to. I'm a good, respectful American of Canada. People in Canada get upset that American people don't know as much about Canada as we know about them. But it's pretty much a one-way flow of information. And you guys don't. I having lived in the states for ten years. There's not a lot of Canadian news that's getting shucked out down there. You know. How dare you? I know so much about Canada. I've been to Timmins, Ontario, but okay? <laughs> Timmins. That's my. I grew up in Thunder Bay, which is actually not that far from Timmins. Really? Yeah. That's my hood. I've never been to Toronto, but I've been to Timmins. You have not been to Toronto, but you've been to Timmins. Yeah. Wow. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Well, I've been to the airport in Toronto, but I never left it. Ah, you're not mich missing much. I, I like <laughs> I like visiting Toronto. It's not my. Uh, I wouldn't want to live there. It's not my jam. I have lots of friends that live there, I, though. You hate Toronto. I do. You're, do you're <laughs> awful. You're awful. <laughs> I'm a monster. Are you one of these Quebec people? You're on Team Quebec. I am not. I, you know what? I've only ever been to Montreal once. Shockingly, um, I loved it. It's an awesome city. Which you've been to me Montreal? Too. I've only been once. They only let me come in once. Oh really? Uh, yeah, it's a fantastic city. Uh, food's mm -hmm. great. People are awesome. Love love Montreal. Now you started in uh, you started in San Diego. Where you were were you born and raised in San Diego? Yeah, Del Mar. It's like um, it's like a beach town. Oh, it's cool. Like, uh, I'm the only person from Del Mar without a tan. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I know what happened. I, I never went outside. I played Sega Genesis. Nice. So this whole quarantine thing is kind of you're uh, right up your alley? I, I mean, no joke. Like, I'm depressed today about it. Like, I mean, obviously, but, like, it's horrible. But, like, I'm really sad about it more than the other days. But also, I realized my life has not changed at all. <laughs> There's just less guilt affiliated with not going to the grocery store. I guess it's uh, it's been different because I have you know like we were talking before I have four kids so it's been it's been a little bit of a challenge to stay sane during this whole thing. Um, but I have actually I, I I dug out an old Xbox 360 that we had in storage and I've been playing that lately and I'm I've I've rediscovered my love for video games so it's been pretty cool. Dude, I've been playing Call of Duty. Killing Nazis has always been one of my hobbies, but at a time like this, I feel like I'm doing my part to help the world. You know, doing the yeah, doing the Lord's work. Um, often Nazis. You get it. Yeah. <laughs> What's it like having having fork in general? It's a lot, you know. But like, on one hand, you're surrounded by love. You know, it's a beautiful thing. On the other hand, like you're surrounded by it. You know. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's my cousin. My cousin's wife said to me, they live, they have three kids, they live down the street. There's nothing, four kids, you laugh at three kids, I'm sure. <laughs> and she says, like, I was like, I wish, I miss your kids, I wish I could come visit. And she's like, I wish I could come stay at your house with nobody there. Like, we, we, like once a week, we, we wish we could switch places. 
it, it's yeah when there's a quiet moment like late at night when everybody's asleep and i can actually just sit down on the couch and watch something in peace and just chill for a second that's like the sweet spot of the day um yeah but that being said i'm you know obviously it's great and wonderful most of the time it's just you know chaos in case they're watching you love them blah 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 yeah yeah exactly if they see this on the internet <laughs> um I, I love you all um so you started in San Diego doing stand-up, and then uh, at what point did your career uh, take you out of San Diego? Well, I started. I did. I started when I was seventeen. I did it for a year, and then I moved to LA to go to college. But it's really just an excuse to do comedy. And then I got Montreal. I got accepted when I was nineteen to the Montreal Festival. Well, that's fast. Yeah, but they haven't had me back since then, so <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how that works. So. Um, Watching America's Got Talent, one of the things that was uh, that that came out and I read was that Heidi Klum had said that you were her all-time favorite act on uh, that that appeared on the show, and not only that, you got to kiss Heidi Klum uh, a couple of times on TV, which I think you're probably the only comic I know who got to, to make out with a, a supermodel. Yeah, I'm a great person, you know. Um, I'm handsome, but I'm a, I have a good heart, and that's what that's what gorgeous women are looking for. So. If there's any gorgeous woman watching this, um, that's me. I'm here for you. And I don't have coronavirus. I don't think I've been tested, but just trust me. Just trust me, baby. <laughs> I have a place. You can come quarantine with me. I got I got empty things of orange juice. Did I just ruin the bit by showing you a thing of orange juice? This is my face. I did it wrong. It's okay. Listen. He's got he's got he's got juice. He's got snacks. Um, he's willing to as long as you are the at the level of. Does it have to be supermodel or is model okay? Swimsuit model? I'm not gonna. I'm not. Do I look like I would date just a model? Why would I can't believe you had me on your show and you would ask me such a silly question? Like I I apologize. I'm. I thought Canadians are supposed to be polite. That was really rude. <laughs> what do you think about that? Why is it that Canadians have that reputation? Do you think it's true? I think generally, here, here's, here's my thoughts on what happened with uh, how Canada became Canada and America became America. We both, That's what we need. We both left England. This is just my theory. We both left England. Um, and when we wanted to leave England, we came to an agreement with England. When America wanted to leave, you got in a fight. And it kind of, it kind of built, you know, uh, both countries in their own way. Canada's a very kind of passive, just, you know, ah, we'll all just kind of get along with everybody. And that's why we think we're seen as super friendly. And America's a little more uh, balls to the wall. That's what actually what I like about America. It's a little more ballsy, a little more uh, out there taking chances and, and uh, not playing it as safe sometimes. Yeah, that's what I don't like about America. <laughs> I mean, it hasn't worked out great for you with the pandemic right now. I think it hasn't worked out great for the world. Like, you know how, like, America has always bragged about how, like, we're the leader of the free world and all this stuff? We have fucked up. Can I say that word? Sure. Can I say up? Yeah. <laughs> Excuse my language. We've messed up. Uh, America. America's messed up the country and the world, and it's pretty gnarly. Like, don't you – is Canada not, not upset about this stuff? Like, do you, you guys don't feel like – Oh, yeah. Like, the residual – like bad things are happening because we're making bad things happen. Well, right now, I think some of the decisions being made aren't necessarily for the right reasons. I think some of the stuff is more uh, for political reasons and stuff like that, instead of general public health reasons, which I think is during a pandemic is probably a bad idea. Um, I agree. And I think Canada, uh, I think as Canadians, we're frustrated because we like America but we're you're that neighbor who's always having like barbecues and shooting off fireworks and stuff like that and and uh you know causing problems in the neighborhood and getting drunk and having fist fights in the street in front of our house <laughs> <laughs> and then you call us over That's to help great. you call us over to help clean up you know um i like that yeah so we we love america it's just uh you're 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 tough to be friends with sometimes well hey you're the ones with the your money smells like like maple syrup <laughs> we have well now see our, now we have plastic money and you can you can wash it off even during the pandemic times coronavirus you can spray it with like lysol and clean it up nicely really yeah canada's great you know my favorite thing about canada 
is you have these beautiful homeless shelters all over the country called uh, Tim Hortons. <laughs> yes. Yes, they are... Uh, local humor. That's some local humor. That is some local Canadian humor brought to you from Los Angeles mm-hmm. by Taylor Williamson. So what's uh, what's going on after the pandemic calms down for you? <laughs> what? I had nothing. Nothing. My, everything is a, a disaster. <laughs> um, I don't know when it's going to end. I don't, I don't... But, like, you know, you're a comic, too. We're all in the same boat. It's like... Oh, all my work has been canceled. They say in two months, if we're lucky, that things are slowly going to start happening again or something. Comedy clubs aren't going to open. And if they do, do people want to go to comedy clubs? And then I'm like, I imagine huge venues are closed, but maybe smaller venues are open, but 50 50 people capacity or something like that. They're going to, I feel like that's when Eddie Murphy is going to want to come perform. I don't don't think I'm going to be a priority for, uh, I think everything's not looking good, and you guys should send me money. All right, Canada or your fans? Um, everyone watching your video, whether the Canadians or fans or humans. All right, uh, I'll put a uh, I'll put a GoFundMe link under the <laughs> under the video for uh, for Save Taylor. We'll start a Save Taylor. Great. Yeah. And, awesome, thank you. Yeah, because I you mean, have plans after this. Nah, I mean, in, I'm in Canada. They're, you know, they're they're firing money off to us left and right to take care of us here. So we're good. Oh, good. Look yeah. At you. Yeah, we got. Uh, it's called uh, uh, curb. We're getting curb payments. Canada. <laughs> it's Canada wow. employment. I got. I have. I have a few Canadian dollars in, in a closet downstairs, so I'm okay. Uh, they're not worth much right now. We're uh, our, our dollar dropped a little bit, but uh, they're still sending the cash out to us. It's still good in Canada. It's dollar for dollar in Canada. So that's uh, you can oh, come good. come stay I, with I'll me for a while. Come visit. Sure, sure. Come on up. How long is the drive? Have you done the drive from LA to Canada? Yeah, it's about twenty three hours. Oh, it's cake. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's a nice drive. Oh, good. So if if and when it's possible, when is your next trip up to Canada? I'm booked in July to be at Rumors Comedy Club in Winnipeg, but I'm hopeful, but I don't know if that's going to happen. It'd be great, though, because I'd love to not be homeless and be able to pay my bills. That'd be so cool. And also, I love it if things are back to normal and make people laugh, because, I don't know, it's uh, we're so lucky that uh, our job is to make people smile and laugh and forget about things, you know? So that'd be wonderful to get to share that with people without spreading diseases and viruses to each other. Yeah, I love it. I love it. I mean, it's it's killing me. I all my work got canceled as well, um, and that's I'm I've been reduced to doing this, um, which is fun. It's I get to hang out and catch up with friends and stuff. So it's been uh, it's been a cool experience uh, on its own. But it's not paying me anything right now. So uh. yeah, I feel you, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing a podcast too called "Don't Touch My Pod." If you look up at Taylor Comedy or TaylorWilliamson.com or I don't touch my pot or what, I don't know. At Taylor Comedy, you can I'll, see all my things. And, I'll include uh, links under the under the video. Uh, you can see what I've been up to, and I have comedy special and links to America's Got Talent videos and things like that. So if you'd like me a little bit, you might like the thing. And I'm raising money for charity. What am I? I'm doing it wrong. I should be raising money for me. I'm doing it wrong. You do the charity. I'll do the I'll do the GoFundMe for you, and uh, okay. <laughs> we'll do like a cycle. Perfect. Yeah, I like that. All right, well, You're a good man, Dave. you are a good man as well. Thank you for uh, for stopping by, uh, even virtually. I appreciate it. Um, and next time uh, you're up in Canada, I would love to be able to work together again. Yes, do show together, man. You're a great man, and I uh, send my love to everyone watching, and uh, and I wish I wish everyone health and happiness during all this nonsense, and even after that too. Why not? You know. Thank you very much, Taylor Williamson, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>